Hello everyone, and welcome to a new series, uh, probably, anyway, on Heat Signature. Uh, it is a game that came out a couple days ago, I think, uh, at the time of this recording, and I hadn't heard any hype about it beforehand, but over the past 24 hours I heard like three different completely unrelated sources say that it was a good game. And uh, <clears throat> it's in a genre that I like, I think, and by a developer who I have enjoyed at least one previous game of before. So I am hopeful that this will be fun, uh, but I don't know a whole lot about it. So briefly, I think it's sort of like a stealth, maybe stealth kind of roguelike thing where it's like live action, but you can pause whenever you want. So in a weird way, it's turn based, but I think not really. I don't know. It's a little bit roguelike ish, a little bit action ish, a little puzzle ish, a little stealth ish, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, this is by the guy who did Gunpoint, which I had a lot of fun with. Kind of a stealth slash infiltration puzzle game, I guess? I don't know. So the main thing about this one is you're in space, I guess. So uh, I'm gonna... I've, I've played through the tutorial a time or two, or most of the way through, just get like sound levels and stuff. But uh, I'll start it over now so we can do it on camera. And uh, I thought it was kind of nice that just like Gunpoint, this game starts with you uh, falling out of a window. A nice little uh, reference back to it, I guess. Except this time the window is into space! See, there we go, the window. So apparently our name is Seder Fiasco, uh, who remarks, This is not how I pictured my retirement. Getting shot over a nebula of battery acid in the ass end of nowhere. But I'm invested now, and there's one last thing I want to do before I quit. So we seem to have been captured by another spaceship of some kind, and I'm being told I can left-click to thrust. Now, I knew this already, because I've done the thing a few times, but... Uh, you can thrust in any direction you want, ta-da, you move around, and we're being told for the tutorial to head over here to, I guess, the ship that we uh, were just kicked out of, perhaps? And you can right-click to break. I hope you guys can read these uh, things down at the bottom. I have a little trouble telling what they are, but I've seen them before. Uh, and so it's saying dock here. A, a mistake that I've made a lot of times while getting sound levels right was this. It's a very nice, satisfying noise, isn't it? Anyway, but we have to dock uh, here, where the actual docking port is. And then, uh, once we're in the ship, we can move around, and, like, this, I gather, is the main sort of setting for the game, the insides of ships. You move around to get to ships, but the fun stuff happens inside. And so it's telling me I need a keycard, because this door is locked, and if I walk into the door, it, like, lights up the matching keycard. I don't know if that happens in the real game or just in the tutorial, but it seems like keys and, and doors are an important thing. And so I'm being told to pause. You can click items in this list to teleport them to you. Now, I don't know why... I can do this. Is it a special thing that this character has? It seems very strange that anything that is sort of nearby, even on the other side of a wall, you can teleport to you, so I wonder if this is like not a permanent, uh, not an ordinary ability. Anyway, so let's grab this, um, Fiasco's Facebreaker. Is in a... a lounge? A prison? There's a bunch of people... Oh, unconscious guards. Okay. So that's like a control room or something up here that we must have been kicked out of this window earlier and now all the guards who were there are unconscious I don't know it's a big mystery um, anyway but there's our face breaker so let's let's pick that up and I also want this uh, key card Ta -da! Uh, it's telling me to pause again left click the face breaker to make it your main attack so I have an inventory uh, but so this is a instantly resolves personnel related disputes. Uh, knocks people unconscious, ignores armor, and has a long dash range. So, I mean, I've seen it in use, but it has, it, weapons apparently have a number of statistics, and like this thing called a face breaker is one thing, one kind of weapon. Sort of a quiet, medium range melee thingy. Okay, so we left click it, and now it's our main attack. We can walk through this door, since we now have the key. But we can't go through this door, because we don't have a key card three. So it says to stand about here and hold left click. And so we can aim in any direction we like with this, but nothing actually happens unless we're pointing at a card. Then when you let go, you dash into him and, and knock him out. So it says to take his gun with F and to please pause. And now we're going to learn, hey, we actually have two uh, weapon slots. So this is on our left click, gun is on our right click. Uh, we'll see in a minute why that's interesting. So there's this keycard door here, too, 
Why can't I have this teleport to me anyway? I could have the other teleport to me, but not this one. Is it because the guard is holding it? Where the others were on the floor? I don't know. Anyway, I can aim my face breaker at him, but it doesn't work because there's a door. So what it's suggesting I do is stand here and, and, uh, and, oh, well. Well, what it was going to tell me to do was just fire my gun at random to make some noise. Uh, but I, I skipped it because I was, like, trying to figure out what would happen. I'm still working all this stuff out. So I fired my gun, and, uh, now this guard has seen an intruder. And now that he's close to me, time has slowed down to give me time to pause, basically. I don't know if this happens in the real game or the tutorial, but uh, you can pause as long as you like to stop and think. And so it tells me, like, hey, by the way, you can move the camera around. Isn't that great? And you can aim attacks, and I assume that's a picture of the scroll wheel telling me I can zoom. We can see all the way out into, like, the dang galaxy, apparently. Or really, really close. Whoa! While I was zoomed out, stuff got rotated. How do I... What? I mean, it's not a big deal. But... I was looking at it in a different way, and now it's this way, and I'm all confused. Alright, well, anyway, so let's knock this guy out before he shoots us. Oh, now everything's be Uh, I could pick up the guard if I wanted. E. My item, I guess. Alarm. Guards sound the alarm. If they hear a shot, find a body or see you. Uh, if the countdown hits zero, you'll be captured. Taking out the captain can cancels. I thought I said conceals. Countdown. Unpause when you're ready. Oh, I have two guns now. What's the difference? They look the same. Do they have different amounts of ammo? They both have 23 bullets, I guess. Alright, well, whatever. Maybe they're sharing bullets. So here's the captain, I guess. He's... Oh, I see. He's sitting in a chair facing to the right. The east, I should say. Okay. Anyway, we could kill him, but it seems more polite to just knock him out. And he went right out the door, which, uh, the window, rather. And if you try to go out, it says, I do like throwing myself out of spaceships, but I was thinking I'd hijack this one first. Oh, well. So, how do you actually get in here? Oh, I bet the captain had a level 3 keycard we could have used to get in here, but we knocked him outside the ship. Uh, what if I took a wrench, by the way? What does a wrench do? You can take... okay. It doesn't, like, let you through doors or anything, does it? Give me the wrench. I want to see what, what the wrench does. Well, not that, apparently. Hmm. I can't do anything with this dang wrench. Okay, well, whatever. We'll just do what the game was telling me to do instead, then. So I'm told that this is like Hotline Miami in space, but I briefly played Hotline Miami and didn't like it very much, so... I don't know, we'll see how true that is or what parts it shares. I think of it as like, you know, a stealth combat foc- a combat focused, but still stealth-ish roguelike is how it seems to me so far. So we're flying the ship to somewhere after we took the helm. And uh, this is as far as I've played the tutorial, by the way. Uh, so after this, it is all brand new to me. Breaker! I've got the siege ship. I don't know who Breaker is. I've laid in the course for Cold Rock Haven. This ship can crash the defenses, but you've got to reprogram them from the inside while they're down. I see, I put the emphasis on wrong. Okay, whatever. I'm going to throw myself into space now. Meet me in the bar if I don't die. <laughs> I see. Throw yourself into space. Well, cool. I'm in space. How do I not be? Design code. Okay, so now we're reading credits, I guess. Tom Francis built most of this stuff. John Roberts did art. John Halpert did music. By the way, I looked on the credits online, and there's like a lot, a lot of Johns. Uh, music by Chris Harvey. Code by, look, another John, John Winder. And the game is called Heat Signature. There you go. So it's, as you can see, the, the credits list is pretty short. It's definitely an indie game. Okay, here we are, back to the game. Cold Rock Haven has been captured and recaptured four times this year. First three times, no one who lived there could fight it. What? This time one of them can. Oh, I see. We used to live on Cold Rock Haven, and someone took it over, and we want to take it back? What is Cold Rock Haven? I don't know. This time, one of them has a 40-year career in espionage, a breach or stealth pod, and a kinetic facebreaker. 
Oh, was it saying breaker? Breacher, not breaker? Hmm, okay. So it's gonna change hands one last time. Oops, I clicked past this time. You know, whatever they were saying. So, that was home. This is me still flying through space, apparently. Uh, it's being suggested that I pause. Wait, wait put, me, put the face breaker back on. Click to remote control your pod. Okay, that's cool. So, break. We'll try to match your speed to the thing you're approaching. Sure. Makes sense. is sort of reminded me of Kerbal Space Program, but of course not really at all similar. Just that you're in space and like you don't, you don't stop, you match velocities relative to a thing. Okay, so here we are flying through space, going by a bunch of, I guess, are these stars or like what? I don't know. I could go faster, of course, but this way I'll be able to break more easily when I get to wherever it is I'm docking, which I guess is Cold Rock Haven. So where is the door I'm supposed to dock with? Is it on the top? Oh, whoa, it dragged me right to it. Okay. Oh, no, it was Breaker. Breaker was the person. I have a Breacher, but his name is Breaker. Talk with E. Is this still the tutorial? I don't even know. Holy shit, you're alive. Oh, and I get to say things. Yeah, I get that more than you'd think. Hey, we have a station. Yeah? Okay. This is going to start something, you know. Other things are gonna want to throw off the shackles like this. Okay? Four factions fighting over this cloud. If we ever get their strongholds, the war just ends. Alright. I mean, this is like boring. Can I leave? That's the plan? I'm sure you don't want to post postpone your retirement and help out? I'm drinking and helping. So that's it? You're gonna retire? What are you gonna do? Uh... Okay. I'm gonna sell out? I don't know. Cool. So... That all happened. Oh, retire. I guess that's how you complete the... Whoa! Cool. So we, we completed the tutorial, I guess. So I've... Uh, from... from... Where did I get this? Was it from watching the little video? I think that the, there was a developer video about um, a little event they're doing for the first couple weeks of the game. I think the main structure of the game is that you start a single game as one of these characters. Well, as a character. And you fly around hijacking ships and stealing shit until you die. And then uh, you start over as a different character. Uh, and characters each have their own, like, specialties of some kind or whatever. And there's, like, a tiny bit of, of uh, like, persistent state in between characters. But it's mostly, like, starting over every time you die, I think. We'll see. So that's, that's sort of the general structure, which, seeing this, makes me think, you know, yes, the tutorial player character just retired. And we're being asked to start a new life. So, uh, okay, who are these people? We could be Geo Borealis. Okay, personal mission. So they all have a personal mission, which is like a th an overarching thing they want to do to maybe to win the game, or maybe just like, I don't know, a thing. Oh, and here's a uh, unique shipment. So they were, that was what they were mentioning down in the, uh, in the dev video I watched. There's um, a special ship that appears uh, during the first two weeks of the game that has, like, a special item in it. And I was like, this sounds really lame. I really don't like the idea. It's basically kind of like a pre-order, like, trying to get people to buy it quickly, which I don't really appreciate, especially if it's, like, a game-breakingly strong item or whatever. Uh, in the video, he claims that it's actually pretty weak and, like, okay, fine, whatever. I would rather not have this exist, but okay. If it's just a fun, silly thing, whatever. Uh, but anyway, we have to choose a character, and um, I was sort of hoping... That I could mouse over one of them and then like see all this stuff in their inventory on the left. I could like mouse over it and see what they are. Um, but if I move the mouse, oh wait, do I have to move it really fast? No, it doesn't work. I don't know. Wait. Oh, I see. No, this. 
my mouse is on the left, and so I thought it was inside of this menu, but actually it's still on these people in the middle. Their menu things extend all the way out to the sides of the screen. All right, well, who looks exciting? Rechargeable long-range crash beam, grenade launcher, a short blade and a shield, long bl I'll take a short blade and a shield, I guess. That sounds fun. Woo! We got a real, like, fighting stance here, don't we? So what, like, I have... Alright, I can't, I can't kill people in here. I can't use my shield. There's a picture of an arrow here, which I assume... No, Legends and Retirement. What? E. This is where you'd go to retire a character, but it's disabled for the tutorial. Oh, look at that, we're still in the tutorial. Okay. Here's where we go to get a mission. Oh, it says practice being cool. Alright. Start practice. Hold to hit a guard with your Ren. Oh. So we're now in, like, not the character we said we are. We're playing a video game as the character. Okay. So hit a guard with your wrench, and then pause. Ah! I didn't pause quick enough. Restart practice mode. Yeah, this is, like, probably the simplest... Simplest kind of combat that there is. Yeah. And I... And then it's making me practice it. Okay, so now I can grab his gun, put it on right click, and shoot to guard? That's pretty cool. Ship secured. Now we can do the next practice, right? <laughs> next violence, this violence again. <laughs> Okay, so they're teaching me basic combat tactics. Uh, hit a guard with your wrench again, and then pause immediately. So when we're like this, we get sort of slow motion, but uh, not actually paused. Okay, here we are. Press... I'm Throsef Spannerfield. All right. Press T to enter throw mode. Things you can do... What am I throwing here? My wrench, I guess? Yeah, alright. Cool. Next violence. Handle this one however you like. Everything actually good requires pausing. It seems fair. Uh, what I have now is a wrench. There are three guards. Hang on, let me observe them for a little bit. Okay, none of them are exactly standing still. But when they go down there, I'm happy. What I kind of want is that. Oh, remember to pause. <clears throat> okay. Can I hit again with my wrench? No. Uh, excuse me? Wait, so this guard panicking has seen me, has seen me. Guard view carrying body. Okay, so I can press T to enter throw mode. No? I don't understand exactly what is happening here. Why am I carrying the guard's body? Is that really what's happening? Stop. What? Okay, let's hang out. What is happening here? I can open an airlock. Collision sensor? What? Okay. So, let's see, what does this allow me to do? Can't swing until 0 0.4, so you can't swing right away. Almost half a second. Okay. And I can't, like, throw it. Oh, I can throw it. But I have to wait until it's become available again, I guess. That's the guard with the key card. <clears throat> and I bet that they hear me, like, when I hit them with stuff, huh? So that's why they all... This guy has seen me. I guess I'll get him first. Okay, that's probably no good. I don't like this idea. I'm yep, I'm unconscious. This is like I feel like I'm missing something really like quite obvious that it dropped me from like a mission where it was just like 
super simple to like, oh, actually, now it, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, even. Um, like, just dodge them for a couple seconds, maybe? Oh, got the wrong one. No, oh, yeah, they shot me. Okay. I mean, I could skip this violence and go into the real game. Uh, maybe what I should do is get this guy. Wait a minute. So this is a terminal that will unlock doors. Maybe I don't have to murder murderize anyone, right? Can I throw yet? No, this is still on cooldown. So I picked up this guard, thinking maybe I could throw him at someone. But instead, they just shot me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fair. Alright. Um. No! Oh! Hey! I did something kind of smart accidentally, I think. I got one of them to notice me and come investigate over here, right? So. Maybe I can do that to, uh, to lure them over one at a time. I don't know what happened, like, they all just sort of flashed a bit there? What's that about? Let's open this airlock. Okay, so they don't notice that, but they do notice me. I don't quite understand how I can use this to get their attention. Alright, they heard a gunshot, so now they're all going nuts. But they're not allowed to use the airlock. Okay, well that's promising, I guess. No, that's not what I wanted, really. Alright, now I got one of them. Now they're all excited. Right, let's knock that guy out. And run. Alright, we got one. We got one. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> this is maybe not the, like, coolest approach, but it seems to be working out alright. So I can't... Oh, I can teleport a... Oh, I got a gun. Alright. <clears throat> that should help a bit. Got him. Okay. Ship secured. How do I leave? Oh, I press E. Finish violence. You are now cool enough for reality. Alright, so I don't know if that was the best way to handle that, but it did seem to work. And, uh... I think we're done with the tutorial now, right? It's like, you know, we're ready for reality, and it, you can take an easy mission. It's been a short-ish video, but I think that that's fine. It's been an okay length. So I think I will end this episode here, and we'll pick up with the real game in... If I remember, I'll call this one Episode 0, and I'll call the next one Episode 1. So I'll see you guys in Episode 1. Oh no, I forgot to say thanks for watching! Thanks for watching! And I'll see you next time, in Episode 1.